I'm standing along Pine Creek, which is a tributary to the Susquehanna River. Pine Creek's valley actually forms what's known as the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. And this is an area that receives a lot of attention for its recreational opportunities. So you see people fishing and boating in the creek, as well as hunting and hiking uh, through the woods here. But up on the ridges along either side of the creek, there's actually been quite a bit of shale energy development. And so there are dozens of wells on top of the ridges around here. So one of the concerns is that the drilling activities could impact the water quality. And another concern is the amount of water that they actually withdraw from the creek here to serve as the water for hydraulic fracturing purposes. The Marcellus Shale has very low permeability, but it also contains a lot of natural gas. So in order to release that natural gas from the shale, the process known as hydraulic fracturing is required to actually open up fractures in the shale and therefore allow the gas to flow out of those fractures into the well bore and up to the earth's surface, where it's then captured in pipes and transported to the marketplace. A typical well site may use up to five to 10 million gallons of water per well, and each well pad may have anywhere from four to 10 or more wells. The, the millions of gallons of water used per well to fracture the shale is typically derived from surface water sources such as Pine Creek. In fact, about 80% of the water used in hydraulic fracturing across Pennsylvania comes from surface water sources. So the industry does have a permit to withdraw water from this particular location. The regulators, in this case the Susquehanna River Basin Commission, will look at the proposed withdrawal, look at the overall flow of the stream, and determine what is a safe amount of water to withdraw from the stream while also protecting the stream's aquatic health and allow for enough water for any downstream users. Once the river's flow drops below a certain level, the industry is no longer allowed to withdraw water until the rainfall brings the river flows back up to some normal level where the industry then can resume their withdrawal practices.